So today we're going to be going through some of the settings that I use in Zoom to get the best quality possible in your Zoom calls. So let's get started. Yeah, some of the settings that you want to do and one thing that really just really quick, it has nothing to do with the quality of Zoom, but it just something that bothers me. It's like a pet peeve when people use the, you know, the thumbs up or the clap emoji uh, reaction, you know, and they use the default yellow hand. Who has yellow hands except Ronald McDonald? But other than that, if you're not Ronald McDonald's, you don't need the yellow one. So please, the first thing you want to do is on the generals tab is change the skin tone to something that is more realistic to what you look like. So the first thing you want to do is just put your skin tone in the settings. So yeah, right now it's summer. I'm a little baked, so we're going to go well done. So going back to our zoom settings. All right, head over to the video tab and select the camera that you're gonna be using. I'm using a Mirabox video capture card, so whatever camera is just running through the HDMI, that is gonna be the USB webcam. So I'm shooting in the A7S, which has clean HDMI out. So if your camera supports that, go ahead and select it, and then we're gonna head over and enable HD, because by default it's actually not selected. I don't know why, maybe it's for bandwidth reasons. I don't know, but go ahead, enable HD. Scroll down some more and you're gonna see another button that says advanced. Unclick enable denoise. You don't want any effects or things happening while you're talking in Zoom because that's just gonna be using resources, that CPU power that you really need for other things. If your computer supports hardware acceleration, yeah, you might want to leave that on. Now we're going to head over to our audio. Now the audio is going to depend greatly on what your setup is. If you're using a default microphone in your tablet or your computer, your desktop, your laptop, then you'll want to uncheck automatically adjust microphone volume. So first thing you want to do is adjust the volume manually and you want to stay around the, a little bit around the half towards the three fourths area. And that's where I'm at right now. You could see as I'm talking to my microphone, my meter is showing that I'm, I have pretty good feedback. Now I am using an external microphone and as you can see my microphone is actually the Mirrorbox audio captures and the audio I'm using from this A7S is not the built-in microphone. I'm using this Sony condenser mic that actually plugs into aux cable like a regular microphone and it actually works. So yeah, that's the microphone I'm using and because it is controlled by the camera I can't adjust the input level in Zoom or in Mac OS or Windows too as well. So I will have to adjust the volume in my camera. Now the camera's max volume, input volume, I believe is 25 decibels. And I have mine, when I'm using a microphone, I usually bring it down to like 14 or 15 the most. And when I'm using just a regular built-in mic from my A7S, I will crank it up to like 17 or 20, but that's gonna add a lot of interference, uh, ambient noise. So the lower your input volume and the closer you get to the mic, the richer and better the sound will be. That is basically the rule of thumb. You wanna stay close to the mic and lower the volume. Now the newest, latest version of Zoom, as you could see, they made some changes in the audio setting, which I actually don't like. In the latest version, as of August, we have suppressed background noise. This is a new setting that was not here before. You wanna make sure that is the lowest you could have it because we can't, unfortunately, we can't just turn it off. It's just either low, medium, high, or auto. Leave it as low as you can. I wish we could turn it off, but there's no, no way to do it. And you could see down below that it says select the default noise suppression level to low to optimize for music. So we got the background noise to low. Then we're gonna head over to advanced and we wanna show in meeting option to enable original sound because yes, when we get into a Zoom call, we will want to enable original sound. 
Now the echo cancellation, again, unfortunately, it's just two settings, either auto or aggressive. And of course, we don't want aggressive, so we just leave it in auto and of course have our original sound because we will want to enable that in our Zoom call. And I'll show you how to do that once we start a meeting. So we'll get out of here and open up a new meeting. Now in here on the, I'm on the Mac OS version. Now in Mac OS, uh, the turn off original sound, actually Windows as well, is gonna be in the top left hand corner. You can see that it says turn off original sound. And it's a little confusing because turn off the original sound means that the original sound setting is on. So that's what we want to see. So if you see this button with a, where it says turn on original sound, that means that it's actually off. So you wanna leave that that says off, so that it says off. Now, if you wanted to default always to be off, you could actually select it from up here, from right next to this drop down menu, and we could select the default microphone to have always, to always use the original sound. And that's what I did in my case. So again, the mirror box, and that's it. All my Zoom calls will have this quality, and what you're watching right now, this is actually Zoom. This is what people actually see in the Zoom call. And it's not bad, right? For the good old cheap 1080p camera with a $30 condenser mic, this is a great setup. So in a future video, I'm gonna be showing you what we could do externally, outside of Zoom, outside of your computer, to get the best quality possible in our Zoom calls. For now, this will do for our settings. And if you did appreciate, found any hints useful, hit it. I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.